I'm firing now. I wasn't even watching the time. As and when Mr. Tony Blair and Mr. George W. Bush are tried for crimes against humanity and duly convicted and imprisoned for the rest of their lives, then let Mr. Tony Blair speak of his conversion to God. I'm not judging you. This is the world which is judging. This little man, Mr. Tony Blair, on the lecture circuit is apparently earning more than anyone has ever earned. You know, those former ministers and stuff. Now I can watch them. I watched Mr. George W. Bush, the whole whatever you have in America, clapping away. Yes, yes, yes. But you see, those people who voted him in and who went along with him and who still think Mr. George W. Bush and Mr. Tony Blair are the bee's knees, I the sign <laughs> the sun shines out of the proverbial. Also have participated in the evil that we, the West, have perpetrated in Iraq for oil. And because next door is Israel, with the money and the nuclear weapon. Those two reasons. We've killed, we've slaughtered innocent human beings. It's called collateral damage. One individual human being killed for oil is one human being too many. So we, the West, bear the blood of those human beings. So every motor car that drives along with its fuel bears the blood of it. And yes, I came here on a bus this morning, and yes, I have fresh clean running water. And yes, this is the internet, and yes, it requires electricity. Yes, I know all these things, but I know the difference between right and wrong. And I will speak about it, even if no one will listen. We still have a free country here in England. A very good journalist on our t television, Channel 4, a man called Andrew Rawnsley, did a documentary on this. That missed Tony Blair, that the trial of the man for crimes against humanity. It's in the national press, it's in the national news. But the slippery, evil little man seems to slip, slide away and get away with it, doesn't he? Neither America, Russia, China won't sign up to this treaty that allows the Hague to try the likes of Milosevic and so on and, and Yugoslavia but the real big tease is now yes I pray about this and yes it's in one of the Psalms God will sort these people out I don't have to almost do you know I can recognize it but I mustn't fret and worry about it evil men will just go away like chaff they'll fade and fritter away to nothing but I am here and I do recognize those two evil men and all the people who voted them back into power for the second time in the year 2005, Mr. Tony Blair was, June or July or whenever it was, and Mr. George W. Bush got a second term, therefore sufficient people in America and in Britain thought that what they were doing was fine. It's a good show. This then makes we the West in my lifetime. Yes, there's stuff been atrocities committed before. Vietnam, I mean, you go back, the Britons, England's uh, branding slaves, black people for, uh, for sugar and all that money that came out of that. Yes, there have been atrocities in the war, but this one is in my lifetime as a grown man and yes I went off on my pilgrimage because I couldn't stand my own country and yes England is in the doghouse around the world and America is much worse and no wonder these Muslims do what they're doing and there's more 